Hello, my Taurus and Taurus Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com. Thank you for being here with me for your July 2021 forecast. Many blessings to you. I'm back, and I can't wait to see what July holds for you guys. You guys have a lot of spirit animals going on, some of which are feathered, some are four-legged. Let's get into this. So your first card here, Spiritual Strength, says that you feel like life is challenging you at this time. However, you already have everything within you to overcome the challenge. And the Eagle is here to remind you from the Wisdom of the Avalon deck that you have help from your spirit realm, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, and your loved ones that have passed on. And all you need to do is call on them for assistance for a message. You may even have a vision that assists you at this time, so pay attention to your daydreams. Second house rules money and your stuff. Trapped in fear. Now, this says that you're afraid to make a move here. You could have a certain amount of money in the bank, but you're afraid to spend it or you're afraid to um, invest it in some way you may be afraid to loan somebody money there is a communication that's coming in here that brings news okay so you know and this could even be someone who foresees something where they tell you oh we have this situation that's coming you're gonna need to save your money now, it's very difficult to tell anyone to save their money as a psychic right now <laughs> because we don't know what money is going to be worth in the future. We really don't. And the future is not that long away, right? The end of this year or next year because of the inflation rates and the increasing prices. So, you know, these things all are relevant that are all coming to you at this time. So it's important to research what you can do with your money in order to stash it and invest it other places. For example, if you know that you're going to need a certain good or product, and you're definitely going to be buying this product in the future, later this year, next year, Get a couple extra, right? Have them on hand. That way you don't have to go back and get them. You're definitely going to be using them anyway, so it's not like you're wasting the money and you're protecting yourself from inflation. Some people buy gold. Some people buy silver, which I'm not poo-pooing that idea either. I think that's a good idea to have some, but not all, right? So just be thinking about that. Extra food, you know, for your freezer, something that you can preserve. Okay? All right. Third house. Communication, but also rules brother sister. So anyone that you would can some people don't have a brother or sister, this could be brother sister in law, some people have a cousin they consider a sister. Partnerships and alliances. So you may be partnering with this person to do something important in your future in both of your futures. Or your brother or sister may be partnering, signing an agreement or contract to start something new. This could be a new job for your brother or sister, certainly. Okay, There is movement here in this oracle message, so this could have been a long time coming. You could have had a brother or sister who was unemployed for a long time, and all of a sudden, bam, they get something, they're off and running. This could even involve some sort of travel for them. Okay, fourth house, house of home, sacral chakra. So this tells, now, the fourth house also can rule your father as well. So your father could be feeling this way if this is not you feeling this way in the month of July. Sacral chakra says that you want something different with where you live. Maybe you want a change of scenery, change of neighborhood, change of city, change of state, change of country. You want to redo your whole house. 
Okay, I wouldn't advise that at this time because of the products, because of the material shortages. It's just not going to go easily. But you could definitely move if you want to. Now the stag is here. This is another one of your spirit animals that are popping up here that talks about pride, leadership, and responsibility. So this is definitely you making a bold move. It's definitely you taking a stand. And you may have been quiet and silent about this, what you were feeling that you wanted more. And then all of a sudden, you take the lead role here and you are a trailblazer and you tell the people that you live with what you want and then you go for it. Okay? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Fifth house. This is your social circle. This is also your dating life if you're a single Taurus person. Material harvest. Okay, so this is a good money card. This is also good for networking. If you want to get out there and network, if you sell something, if you're thinking about starting up a side business, doing something like that. Money on the side is what this card indicates here in the fifth house. Um, you could also be dating someone who receives big money at this time. This could be an inheritance. This could be a big bonus that they're getting at work. Usually it's not surprise money. Usually it's money that they've earned some way. Now, the, the oracle message that we have in the fifth house here, okay, is the horse. So this is about um, accepting responsibility. Did I read that right? No, sorry. Accepting help from another. So in order to accept help from another, we have to ask, right? This could actually, because you have the money card here, this could actually be your partner, someone that you're dating who's asking help from you to get this money project off the road, right? This is also about de delegating. And again, that has to do with asking for help. So... If you need something done and you have a friend that you know that you could do it, reach out to them at this time, okay? Especially if you've already been considering it, consider this your confirmation. I'm getting a big confirm on that, as my husband always says. Repeating my words. Most of the time making fun of me, but in a true way. Sixth house, stand your ground. So stand your ground is talking about, this is definitely related to work. Okay, now for a very small few of you, this could be about your health. And if that's the case in your health, then you will need to get a second opinion uh, from your doctor. I hate to poo-poo doctors because doctors are great. They help all kinds of people all the time, especially people who need surgery. However, doctors are only giving you their most educated guess. Well, sometimes that guess is wrong. Now, if you're in a situation where you know that your doctor is wrong, you've been trying to do the things that your doctor's saying to do, medication regimen, whatever, XYZ, whatever it may be, and it's not working, then you may need to get help somewhere else, right? That's only for a small percentage, a few, a few of you. It's definitely not medical advice. I am not a medical doctor in any way, shape, or form. Go to your doctor. But if your doctor can't figure it out, go to another doctor until you get the answer, okay? But for the rest of you, this card is talking about your work. Standing your ground is making sure that you do not get run all over. Perhaps you're being forced to work some crazy hours and you are not being compensated for it. Well, that's just not going to do for you, Taurus. You know, there's got to be another way. The Earth Fairy here is here to help you. She talks about physical health. I love it. Grounding and solid foundations. So you now... Taurus, if you are getting, if you're having some sort of vertigo, I would highly recommend that you go outside and plant your bare feet in the ground on the grass for several minutes and visualize your feet actually grounding to the earth, okay? 
since this card does talk about grounding. Okay, seventh house. This is your primary relationships. You have firm foundation. Firm foundation says you've laid the solid foundation for what you want to do next. That's very good. I've got nothing negative to say about this card. It could be so much worse. And I feel like you've already been through the trenches and you are ready for what's next here in primary relationships. This could also be talking about a business partnership. You have Merlin, Alchemy, Justice, and Balance. So I feel like you guys have the Midas touch right now. If you want something in a relationship, you should ask or you should go for it. You have several... Um, the words that are coming to me are good qualities, but it's much more than that because you have the physical qualities, but you also have the spiritual qualities of attraction right now. So this tells me that you are like magnetic. People are going to show up for you. They're going to come out of the woodwork for you, but especially if you put forth a little effort, um, I feel like it's going to come back in a good way. Now your eighth house is the house of taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income and intimacy. Now transformation is the death card here. This is out with the old, in with the new. You could totally ditch a lover this month that was not meeting your expectations. This obviously is not a life partner because you did not pull it in your seventh house. You pulled it in the eighth house. You know, I hate to say that a Taurus would have a side chick or a side dude, but if that's you, then you may dump them this month. This could also be the end of a contract, a tax issue, a legal matter. Um, or for some of you who have a spouse with a uh, job and a separate income, there could be a change of that going on there, okay? So this is another message in that instance about budgeting. Don't overspend this month, okay? Keep to your budget. Don't make any major expenditures if you can help it. You do have joy. So... Even if this is an ending that you or your partner may feel sad about temporarily, don't worry because there is better news right around the corner. Whatever is being lost here, if that is the case, the universe is taking it away to replace it with something much better. So just know that better is around the corner for either you or your partner or both of you. Because this does rule the house of intimacy. Okay, your ninth house rules travel and higher knowledge. So this is any trip that you want to go on. It's any school that you want to sign up for or class. I love this card. Positive Movement Forward talks about your creativity. You're going to love what you do here on this trip or in this class. You have the high priestess with you. So this talks about being divinely guided you are receiving the messages to do whatever it is you've been guided to do here. Oftentimes I have clients say, well, I've been thinking about booking a trip, but I haven't done it yet, or I've been thinking about taking a class, and I just don't know. Well, this is definitely your green light to do so, okay? Your 10th house rules your career. Career and also your mother. So it's one or the other. Typically it's not both. From what I've seen yet, I could change my mind about that in the future because I feel like we're in a we're at a time where whatever goes right. <laughs> Tenth house, okay. So rest and rejuvenate says to take a step back here, and you know because it does rule your mother. Your mother may need to take a time out, take a break, get some R and R. Why? Because there's a new beginning here. Either in your career or for your mother, birth and rebirth is definitely a major upheaval, overhaul, transition, not easy. You 
or your mother may need to take a break here and a rest and a respite. And you may need to tell her that she needs. And this could also be a mother-in-law, too. Or stepmother. Don't forget that. 11th house, children. So this house rules your children. But also, if you don't have children, it's talking about your best friend. Emotional loss. So they are feeling like there's something missing in their life. Perhaps they don't have their pal around anymore. Or their pet. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, or they're, you know, they're just not... Maybe they're sad because school is ending. I know that sounds ridiculous, but there's definitely something missing in their life. They're feeling it. They may talk to you about it. You may need to talk to them about it if they haven't spoken to you about it. You may need to have a talk. The frog is talking about cleaning house and releasing emotional baggage. Okay, so this could be a minor depression for your child or your best friend. How do we clear up depression? Seek professional help, obviously. But the second thing is a lot of times people are depressed because their space is cluttered. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but I've seen it time and time again. I mean, you've watched those hoarder shows on A&E, right? Those people who are in living in that space are depressed for sure amongst other things and then once they clean it up they physically and mentally and emotionally just feel better it's like magic it really is so if someone a child a best friend is depressed offer to help them to clean up their space if you can it'll make a big difference 12th house, subconscious. What's under the subconscious comes to the surface usually three months from now in this 12th house reading of mine. So we're talking the month of October. Triumphant success is the Ace of Swords card. This card says that after a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, you finally get a victory here. You have the hawk. So here we go with another bird spirit omens and messages you are being given messages from your higher power about what's going to happen in the near future pay attention to it and it has to do with something that you're putting hard work and effort in here don't quit don't quit because you will receive receive a payoff just keep your nose to the grindstone on this one Thank you so much for being with me here, Taurus. Please like this video and share with your Taurus friends. Many blessings.